Welcome back, Architects of Destiny. Start what we finish. What does that mean? It means in the areas where we are finding ourselves to be effective and follow through on the tasks which we set out to perform, pay attention. Pay attention to where we are most effective and use that insight to gain some wisdom around where we have not been effective in our lives and meditate on what's going on around that. What is worth doing is worth finishing. There is uh, wisdom from the Rick Rubin book, which I mentioned recently, A Creative Act, where he posits that anything worth doing is worth finishing, but also a finished project in whatever state is more valuable than a perfect fragment. And what this reminds me of is the Alla Prima painting technique. The Italian painting technique, wet on wet. So the, the painters, the artists, doesn't let the, the paint dry before painting the next layer or the next highlight or the next feature of whatever the subject is. And so, and finishes the, the piece in typically in one sitting. So uh, the idea of finishing what we start is to take a bite out of the projects that we know we're gonna swallow. Um, there certainly is value and lessons to be learned when we come up against resistance and don't finish projects. But uh, if we can flip around the reciprocal of that and harvest the information and the insights around where we have been most effective, we can, we can really amplify our impact and get that flywheel effect going in our lives where the virtuous cycle of completing projects has some beautiful impacts for us and the people around us. When we complete things, we build self-esteem. When we build self-esteem, we build confidence. When we build confidence, we reduce resistance. The flywheel momentum picks up and we experience the benefits of success, as do all those around us in our community. So today I'm going to take a look at starting what I finish. And let me know what you think about this. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And happy adventures, friends.